What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Vincent Esposito and welcome to our new kitchen set. So today we're gonna to be talking about bell peppers and three ways to make them. So bell peppers are a great source of vitamin A, your beta carotenes. These change a little bit depending on the color. They're also great sources of folate and vitamin C. They're actually one of the best sources of vitamin C when it comes to foods. Uh, but it tends to get overlooked on that front. They're also a great source of non-heme iron and potassium. So the colors actually indicate a few things. So green bell peppers just mean that they're immature. Now, obviously the flavor is a little different. They're not as sweet. And riper ones tend to be anywhere between red and yellow and sometimes even purple. Now, interesting when it comes to non-heme iron uh, and the fact that peppers are a great source of vitamin C, you actually need vitamin C to facilitate the absorption of iron. So vitamin C actually helps with the absorption of iron. Never mind its antioxidant potential, especially with things like lycopene, your carotenes, and things like lutein. Bell peppers are also a good source of vitamin E, vitamin K, and manganese. Now, vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin, so if you tend to cook your peppers, you're gonna lose a little bit of that vitamin C but it's vitamin A and the other fat-soluble vitamins, E and K, should not change much due to cooking. But the good news is bell peppers are such a good source of vitamin C that even when they're cooked, they still retain a good amount of it. So let's go over the recipes we're gonna be making today. So you see bell peppers used a lot in stir fries and with peppers and onions, that type of thing. We wanna get a little creative and do something different. And I wanna show you a technique that I know I've seen a lot throughout my life. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually make roasted peppers from scratch. We're then gonna use those roasted peppers to make a vegan romesco sauce. And then we're actually gonna stuff bell peppers with a Tex-Mex type filling with black beans and sweet potatoes. And it's a great one-stop meal. So I hope you enjoy these recipes. If you're interested in them, please like and subscribe below. Again, coming out with new ones every week. And if you haven't heard, we are doing uh, live cooking classes. So if you're interested in those, those are happening twice a week and you can find those in the links below. But with that said, let's hop right into these recipes and I will see you on the other side. Okay, so we're gonna start by roasting our peppers. Now what I'm gonna do here is just brush a little bit of olive oil over the outside of all our peppers. Now there are a few ways you could roast peppers. You could do it on a open flame. You could do it on the grill. I think roasting is the most consistent. So we're gonna roast those for about 40 minutes at 400 degrees, and you're gonna flip them halfway. So with a pair of tongs, you just take them out and flip them 180 degrees. After that, you're gonna take them out and then cover them for 10 to 15 minutes. This is gonna steam the peppers. And then once they're done, they might deflate a little bit. That's okay, because they'll pop and let some air out. That's totally fine. Now, after that, and you let them cool, you're gonna, with a knife, cut them vertically and then take out the seeds. And I'm being very delicate here because my peppers are hot. I didn't have all day to um, let them cool. But then we're gonna flip them and peel the skin. And we're gonna repeat this process. This is kind of the tedious part for all the peppers. And we're gonna glass them or put them in a glass with olive oil and that's how you save them. Okay, so let's make our romesco sauce. So into our bowl, or our blender. We have some of our roasted peppers. We have almonds, some salt, some garlic, the juice of one lemon. And we're gonna finish it with some olive oil. And we're simply just gonna blend this up super quick. And that's it. This romesco sauce you can use on pastas, you can use it as a dip. You could put it on top of anything. It's great, it's rich, it's sweet. It covers a lot of bases. Okay, so let's get started on our filling for our stuffed peppers. So we're gonna start with the sweet potatoes. We're gonna put them on a medium, medium high flame with some olive oil, and we're gonna cover them and cook them for three to four minutes. Then we're gonna add our garlic and red onion, and we're gonna saute that down until our onion's translucent, so about another four or five minutes. Then we're gonna go in with about a tablespoon and a half or so of some tomato paste. We're gonna mix that in until it combines evenly. And then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. So we add our diced tomatoes, we add our black beans, and then we're gonna add all of our spices. So 
Today, we're using some garlic powder, a little salt, a little pepper, some paprika, some cumin, a uh, little bit of onion powder actually too. And just to make it a little different, I used a touch of curry powder. Again, you don't need to use that. It's just kind of, you know, use what you have. We're gonna cook this down really until the liquid cooks off the tomatoes. And then we're gonna add our arugula. So you're gonna do this on, you can do it on a lower heat, uh, depending on how much you want it to cook down. This is only gonna take another minute or so because that arugula wilts down very quickly. And again, you can use other leafy greens like spinach uh, or kale or something like that too. Then we're simply gonna fill our peppers. So you can put in as much as you want. You'll notice that some of it kind of leaks out here. That's totally fine. There is some left over, which is nice too. So that could be lunch for the next day. And then we're gonna pop these in the oven again, 400 degrees. Uh, for 20 minutes and that's it guys. So we have our roasted Tex-Mex bell peppers. We have our roasted peppers that we made and then our romesco sauce. So I hope you enjoyed these recipes. Again, if you did, please like and subscribe. If you're interested, join our online classes. Again, we're making meals twice a week. So if you're interested in that, the link will be below. Thank you for tuning in everyone and I will see you guys all next week.